Well, we got something to talk about. We got something to talk about. We are not going through all of the OTAs. We are going to talk about that's what's the right way to say this uh, the nerfing and buffing of new cards from second dinner slash marvel snap there's some other discussions that can come from this blob was just changed to six zero i've gone ahead and looked at all the changes in the last like 10 plus months something like that i've got him a spreadsheet tallied them up buffs and nerfs Oh, one buff, one nerf, one buff, one nerf, whatever. Total them up. We're going to look at those. And I want to hear from you in the comments below. And if you like this video, please consider hammering down that like button. It helps the algorithm. But I want to hear from you. Do you think Second Dinner is releasing cards and then nerfing them into uh, powerful and then nerfing them later? That's the discussion that is prominent. Uh, I knew that this blob change would fuel that conversation. I knew it. I knew it, I knew it, I knew it. Pretty obvious to see. Now the question is, is that really happening? Are they really truly nerfing cards right after the release, shortly after release, et cetera, so that it incentivizes people to buy them up front and make sure that they get them as good as they can for as long as they can. There's other terms for this. That's a video for another day, if that's in fact the case. So. This was a catalyst for me to want to conversate about this. Now we're going to go over to our friends at Marvel Snap Zone. They have a great, great list of all the OTAs, all the patch notes. They've got the little graphics, all that sort of thing. So you can see all of the different changes throughout the course of the game. I went through this and I had already kind of been tracking this anyway, uh, but I went through and just filled in a couple gaps. So shout out to Marvel Snap Zone. I highly recommend going over there. They got a great, great premium option tool builder or tech deck builder that I love and promote as well. So anyway, I want to shout these guys out because this is where it makes it easy to go look through these things. So now, having said that, we are going to go look at my spreadsheet. So in my spreadsheet, we've got, and the way I kind of track this is I just like to track all the new cards when they release uh, the series four or five and the other cards in the spotlight what's happened this is added and i've got something here later like i said we'll tally these up i used to predict when they were going to drop etc planning for tokens that's all trash now so we go through we know we just got hercules buffed and we just got blob nerfed martyr buffed and i put the dates in here so that way it'd be uh easier if you see something here comment below in case i miss it i think i've got everything here i should but uh, you know, human and all. Uh, Annihilus nerf, gladiator buff, Miss Marvel buff. And some of these buffs and nerfs are more impactful than others. You know, Annihilus nerf, eh, it's not that big of a deal. Martyr buff, nah, eh, not that big of a deal. Blob nerf, TBD, could be huge. Uh, but TBD, gladiator buff, eh, it's, it was okay. It was not bad. Miss Marvel nerf is pretty, pretty big. I mean, like the fact that you have two cards, not only to lose points, you know, cards. Werewolf by knife nerf, that was huge. Black Knight buff, that was pretty solid. That was a pretty good buff, I'd say. Elsa nerf, gigantic. Mobius nerf buff. Um, you know, you'll see what I put for this in a second, but obviously it's not like what it used to be. Ravana, a great buff, fantastic buff. Eliath double nerfed. You know, it's still pretty much the same card until they changed it, which was a nerf, because uh, before you could just nuke any card was there. Loki has been nerfed twice, technically. Uh, one of them I called semi-nerf, but it doesn't really feel very impactful. I'll say Lady Deathstrike buff didn't feel super impactful. Legion nerf didn't really change a whole lot. Phoenix Force buff didn't change a ton. Spider Ham, and actually you can see I said nerf changed buff. There's three changes to this card. I left it as nerfed based on what it was before because I think the way it was released, it was it was super strong, obviously. And then the change it was like, well, even though you buffed it at the end, it was still an overall nerf on the card. Ghost Spider got buffed. Living Tribunal got buffed. Snow Guard got buffed then nerfed, but overall I think that was a general buff, so I left that as a buff. Hit Monkey got nerfed. Kitty Pride I marked as kind of a fun. It technically got nerfed, but it was re-released. It almost should stand in its own category, but technically it's a nerf. That was just a, a, a mistake that they had that was breaking the game. Negasonic got two buffs. Nimrod got a buff. Stature got nerfed. Zabu got nerfed. Silver Surfer got nerfed, and Shuri's been nerfed twice, and that that was where I stopped. Was it Shuri? 
So I didn't go, and then I've got some other cards here, but I, I didn't go through all of these. It's just like, oh, okay, that's not, I mean, obviously some of these got changed over the course of time, um, but I didn't want to go through that. So now what we want to do is unhide these. So I'm going to unhide these cells, and you can see I've got the numbers there, but we're going to scroll up. What do you guys think it's going to be? What is your guess? You might have already counted it. Is it going to be drastically in favor of the nurse? Is it going to be drastically in favor of the buffs? Now, another thing to factor that I have not done on this, maybe at some point I will, is that we'd want to know how long does it typically take after a buff, after a card's released to get buffed or after a card's released to get nerfed, just on average. That's something I could certainly do in here. I didn't do it for this video because I kind of wanted to get this out, talk to you guys a little bit and get some information from you really see what your thoughts are maybe this is not that big of a deal maybe everybody should just be fine with it you tell me how you feel i'm not going to tell anybody how to feel all right so we scroll up we're at meek we're at hercules we're almost to the top here you guys ready for this the grand revealing drum roll 19 nerfs to 14 buffs okay five more nerfs i mean when I saw those numbers, like, oh, you know, and then when you consider two of them from Eliath, two of them are, you know, from Loki, if you just do this, all right, so now it's, now it's within three. I mean, but then you also would change maybe this one to one, you know, so now it's back to win four. So I, I think regardless, if you, you know, you change the two that I, you just, whatever, they're going to split, right? And I think this in general isn't bad honestly i can't sit here and say like oh gosh you terrible people this is a joke i thought i would honestly i thought i would it just felt like meme worthy about how much they do this but five more nerfs than buffs you know when i look at this i again too harsh in my opinion that's fine i think that nerf was reasonable i think that was a little bit too harsh honestly werewolf by nice too harsh the thing that again that i'd like to know though is like so look at this so let's let's see when was it started this trend started happening so legion that was okay so i was after legion like this was a good oh uh i don't know it was like a month later so that was a month later this was less than a month uh, it was a buff month less than a month later so it was after that so it was really after this spider am thing so from june they started changing cards it was with three months so Really with Phoenix Force was the first quick buff. Legion was a nerf um, basically a month later. Lady Deathstrike got buffed a couple weeks later, which was great. Loki got nerfed uh, almost two months later and then got a nerf again uh, about another two months, a uh, month and a half later. Or, you know, uh, no, yeah, two months later, two months later. Eliath got nerfed a month later and then a couple weeks later after that. A Ravana got buffed uh, a little over a month and a half later. Mobius got nerfed about a month later. Elsa Bloodstone got nerfed the same month she was released. That was bad. That was just bad. Uh, Black Knight took about a month and a half to get uh, buffed, which was a good buff. Uh, Werewolf by Night took about two months to get nerfed, but I think that nerf was still a little much. Um, Miss Marvel took uh, two months to get nerfed. Gladiator took a month and a week to get buffed. Annihilus took a month and a half to get nerfed. Martyr was a month of buff. Blob took a month of nerf. So it varies. There's a couple weeks thing. There's a month thing. There's a couple month thing. So it definitely varies as far as how often they're having it. And I think that, uh, oh, and then Hercules buffed within a week. You know, or yeah, a week. Yeah, basically a week. So... I mean, that's, wow, wow, that's like fire. I mean, why even release the card that way? This, this is the flip side of this argument where they nerf it so quick. Well, now I don't know if I should buy it. Well, uh, you know, Hercules isn't being released great. I don't know if I should buy it or should I buy it because I know that they're going to buff it later. Oof, I don't know. It gives this sense of uh, uncertainty and I don't think that's fair to players. I think it's unfortunate, but uh, I will say that 19 to 14 buffs to nerfs if you just told me that at his face value, I wouldn't be super stressed. I just wouldn't. That's all I got. I wanted to look at this. 
I'm not here raging. Uh, I wanted to talk about it again. I thought that this blob thing might fuel the whole conversation of releasing cards and nerfing them later. Potentially the pay to win thing, which I was alluding to earlier. I will end with this. I've played a lot of gotcha mobile predatory type thing. I will admit I'm a little concerned with the direction snaps heading. In. I am. I cannot say anything to the contrary and with a straight face. However, I still do think it is one of the more free to play friendly games out there as far as competing. As far as card acquisition, it's you, you still got to pay to get those cards. You do. However, I think you can still find ways to win in this game, whereas other games, they don't work that way. You either pay to get your power or you lose. In this game, you find a good deck, you play it right, know how to play it, you can still win. So that's also one thing that Snap will always technically have, unless they just really start releasing OP cards and that you have to have those with the decks with them. So that's what I got. I'm going to end with that. Appreciate you making it this far. Comment below, hammer down like buttons, all the things. And until next time, we hope you have a wonderful day.